All right, we are here with the parcel. Um, how do we open this? I feel like it's Christmas. So this is the Rollerblade Twister Edge. I actually didn't know this, but Rollerblade's actually the name of the brand, not actually the name of the sport, well, I think. So yeah, these are my skates, bro. Um, got them from Bayside Blades in here in Melbourne. Oh. Yeah. Let's open it up. Why are you talking? Why am I talking? Because the camera. Oh, I think you're recording. Who wants to say hi to Ethan? Hi. Hi. Do you want to be from the video? Yeah, you're a famous one. Yeah, I'm not famous. Yeah. Yeah, because I wanted to do three videos. So I got these in a 9.5 US. Hopefully they fit. Woo, look at that. Sick. They look sick, don't they? Yeah. So in the box is a heel brake, which I'm not going to use, even though I don't know how to skate yet, and some spare laces, and a manual, and I think some uh, tools. But yeah, let's uh, strap in and see how they feel. To be honest, I don't even know how to put them on. Yeah, me too. I don't even know if I'm wearing the right socks for this. No. No, you can't buy them. I think it's just like a snowboard binding where you just... <coughs> I've really got no clue, but um, I really want to invest in something that's a lot a bit more, better quality oh, than like a beginner yeah. skate because I knew that I'd be doing this for a little bit and I'd probably end up spending more money by upgrading later on. So I just got something that's a little bit... Um, better. Bro, how better. do I get my foot into this? Do the wall bike. I have no clue. Wall skate. Wall skate the better because it's kind of. Okay, so you put the foot on like that. Oh, that's tight, man. Put How do I get it in? The problem is, it's too big for you. That's all. Oh. oh my god, that feels so foreign. What's wrong with me? Alright. <laughs> so we're gonna strap in. You want some helmet? Uh, I don't know if I should do the laces first or the or the, the buckles. I'm gonna go with the laces first. <laughs> Alright, let's try the other one off. This feels so weird, man. How do I stop? You just stop it. How do you I go back? Stay still. How do I stay? I can't even stay still. Okay. You told on something. Okay, ready? Oh. You want to get up here? Yeah! Whoa! It's just like skiing to be honest. I skied once a few years ago for like a day. Oh my gosh, that was scary. How do people go down hills on this backwards? That is insane. They know. They do it. They do the manual. Oh my god. See, I told you to just buy whatever they are called pads again. Crash pads? Elbow pads? Yeah. Whoa. Where did you come from? Hey? Where did you come from? Where did you come from? So this was the next day. It was my first time ever skating outside. And as you can see, the weather was absolutely horrid. We went to the Museum of Melbourne to do
do some skating because a lot of people just sort of skate there and bike around there and just hang out around there but we didn't even realize that it was going to rain so we were, we already made it out there and it started bucketing down like this and we thought might as well just stay and make the most of it so as you can see i'm just sort of pushing around gently i was too excited to care about the rain I really don't recommend rain for beginners, but if you're willing to learn enough, then nothing can stand in your way. Here we got some skates for Ivy just before that at from Kmart, and she already had experience, so she was skating along a lot better than me on my first day. Ethan got some skates as well, but they were really hard for him, so he just wandered around. And then this was on the Sunday, the next day. We went to the same area, but it, the weather was a lot better. And I just skated around the paths there. Still looked really weird and awkward. And it's funny just looking back how awkward I felt back then. I remember feeling how awkward it was, like just trying to even just stand up on the skates. This was on the same day, on the Sunday in the afternoon, and thought I'd just go for a quick spin, and I landed straight on my ass right there. That one really hurt. These are my palms after just two, two days of skating. At this point, I was just trying to get skate time in whenever I could, practicing on a bit of single foot balance. At this point, it's about three hours of skating, As you can see, my single foot balance is real bad. Like I could only go like two meters on one foot. And this is where I made a revelation. I learned that to turn, you have to actually lead with your shoulders. Point your shoulders where you want to go and your feet will follow. And it was like a massive breakthrough for me and I felt so triumphant that day. Four hours, we're just pushing around. And you can see that I still haven't made much progress apart from learning how to turn. So every minute on the skates is pretty much wiring up your brain to understand how to skate. So every minute counts when you're starting out something new. This was about six and a half hours in. I was just working on some crossovers one morning on the weekend. I thought it was a lot easier than it looked until I tried it and it's actually pretty scary just like leading into it, balancing into one foot and crossing your feet over as you're moving. Just pushing around just getting used to the feeling and just gliding around. This is about seven hours in. Uh, took Ivy to the car park as well because she wanted to escape with us. And we just, I just pushed around, took it real easy this day because I was so sore. I was using all these muscles that I've never used before, especially my core. And I thought because I've been to the gym and I used to lift a lot, I was like, it's gonna be real easy for me, but it's just a completely different set of muscles that you use. A lot of stabilizer muscles. At this point, I'm getting a lot more comfortable falling. This is about eight hours in. I'm just falling heaps now because I'm just committing a bit more. I think I'm trying to magic slide here, but I think I hurt my wrist at that point and just went home because I didn't have my wrist guards to me. And this is nine hours in, learning how to stop. Another 
a stack. Sort of got the hang of it here. Just wearing knee pads at this point under my jeans. I got cocky and tried to do some parallel slides, which is really dumb, I guess, because I'm a beginner and just have no clue what I'm doing. But uh, every attempt counts in, in my book, that's what I believe. This is my first time ever skating down a slope of any sort. I just found that I could control my speed by carving real hard. Well, this is what I call hard at that time. This is the funny part, wait for this. Watch me um, pr like try to sprint up this hill. It looks like the most spastic thing you'll ever see. <laughs> you can just sort of see how wide my stride is and awkward it looks. Sort of just practicing rolling backwards, but it's a bit too scary, so I'm just trying to, like it just didn't compute at this point, and I just didn't know how to get myself to go backwards. This is about 12 hours in, I just got bored of the car park, and decided to roll around the streets, just chill out, just push around, even though I didn't know how to stop yet, I sort of learnt, I sort of knew how to control my speed. This is my first time riding to the supermarket on one morning, just to grab some uh, bread or something like that. Jumping over some curbs. I was addicted at this point, Just, I just wanted to skate all the time. Practicing in the apartment, scrubbing speed, practicing scrubbing speed. Uh, that was the only way I knew how to control my speed at this point. My single leg balance got real good at this point, like I could just balance on one leg. And I found that the road actually has less grip than the car park. Skating on different surfaces, different bumps and cracks helped me uh, progress. Just sticking around in the car park as well, just seeing if I can slide on this slippery surface. As you can see, it's no good really. I was too scared to commit at this point. This is 14 hours in trying to do some crossovers around a roundabout near my house. You can tell how awkward I feel and look. Doing some jumps in the streets. On this day, me and Ethan skated for like two hours. Oh, we rode pretty much like 15 Ks or something like that. Pretty much all the way to the city and back. Just going for a nice cruise. Oh a bit more of the single leg stuff. I balance a lot better on my left leg, so for my right leg, that was really good. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Speed is no issue anymore because I've been just skating around so much. But my sprint still needs a lot of work, as you can see, and my stride. Don't stack it. But the thing is, I feel comfortable on it now. On this day, I went to Fitzroy Gardens just to try and do some magic slides again. But I feel like with my knee, which I had operated on before, magic slides aren't really a good slide for me. So after this day, I sort of quit on the magic slide. 
because at the end of this session you can see me sort of hurt my knee. And I thought I'm never doing magic slides again. So I'm just sort of picking up speeds for some reason. I, mean, I should be taking it slow, but I don't know, I tend to get cocky. I'm not wearing knee pads on this day either. Just copping an absolute beating just from skating. This is at about 22 hours now. I'm putting on my hip pads that I used to wear when I used to do downhill skating. And these are the same knee pads that I wear under my pants usually. Got some new Dickies pants. They're really durable and comfortable. So on this day, I told myself that I'm gonna learn how to skate backwards and I'm not going home until I'm satisfied with it. So this is me at the very start of the session, just sort of figuring out and trying to compute in my mind how to actually go backwards. Like I'm trying to process what I have to do with my body to go backwards. And it's just like so counterintuitive because I just learned how to skate forwards now. I'm going to try and do the exact opposite of that to move backwards. And I found that I was putting too much weight on my toes, which was sort of counterintuitive as well, again, because you sort of try to protect your head by leaning forward when you skate backwards. But by doing that, you actually throw yourself off and you have to actually lean backwards onto your heels, which makes sense because when you skate forwards, you actually lean forwards. So at this point, I'm just sort of processing why I'm slowing down. It's because my feet keep naturally reverting to the position they should be in for forward skating. And it like doesn't work when you're moving backwards. I'm slowly getting the hang of it here. see my crossovers have gotten a little bit better. Now it's getting serious. I didn't commit fully because I took off my jumper and it's a weird thing where I just got a bit scared without my jumper, showing how much I sweat. You can see how my sprints improved a little bit more. Picking up speed, no worries man, just cruising around. Getting a little bit more comfortable going backwards now, switching between forwards and backwards. On this one, I get a bit too cocky. I go a bit too fast, and then on right after this, I sort of stack it. And then at this point, I'm drilling in how to do the power stop or like parallel slide. I'm not too sure what it's called either. I watched a video of Bill Stoppards and you have to put a lot of weight on the inside leg and sort of pivot your knee outwards and really drive with your glutes to open up that inside leg. And that was like a breakthrough again for me as well. And this is the first time I've ever actually slid like a tiny bit or got my skates to slide a tiny bit while doing a parallel slide. So yeah, that's 24 hours of skating. As you can see, I've still got a lot of work to go. I don't know how to actually stop on a dime yet, but I'm pretty comfortable skating around forwards. I've just started backwards skating and the future looks promising for my inline skating career. <laughs> so yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you're thinking of picking up a pair of inline skates for yourself then I highly recommend it and you'll see how hard it is once you get strapped in for the first time. 
But um, good luck with that, and I'll see you on the next video.